For this next section, I wanted to show you how to add uh, the sidebar images or any image or any content to your sidebar um, within this template. So uh, this section here where you see the photo, um, these are actually called Squarespace sections. So there's one holding an HTML widget that's holding this image. So that's how that appears. And this other one is pulling in like latest blog posts this is how that works. So, um, and if you click over to structure mode, you can kind of see that um, it doesn't say it's a section, but that's pretty much how, how these are appearing here. So um, on pages where those don't exist, um, we'll want to go ahead and, and maybe add those. And I was going to show you how to do that. So um, on this uh, request a quote page, Let's go ahead and head over to the architecture section of the site. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we'd say insert section. And we won't give it a title because that title will appear above the, the element. And uh, in this case, we don't want it. So you saw before how it said um, from, from the blog. So that's, that's where that title would appear. But since we're just kind of adding artwork to the page, we wouldn't want to put a title that says artwork. Um, and for this section here, um, we'll want to go ahead and, and say um, display on specific pages. So this is going to show people where. Let me turn this off real quick. Um, so underneath contact us, this is our site navigation. So we'll just go ahead and select the request a, a quote page is what we'll do. And so this one section, this one image that we're going to install, it's going to only appear on the request a quote page when we do this. So kind of waiting here. There we go. So now we'll want to add a widget and the widget will just basically be, it'll be an HTML widget, which is just a block of HTML code. Um, nothing complex about it. Only the word HTML is the most complex thing about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is give this a, a, a name or a label, um, because I have other ones here like contact image. Um, and we said, uh, it's going to go on the request a quote page. So what I'll do is I'll just say, request quote image just hit enter and so we have that it's it's by default it's disabled so let's go ahead and enable that um, then if we go ahead and go back to the top we can head back to where we just were and so then if we go to content mode um, you'll see that this this area here shows up now. And if, if you're logged out, it would probably have some text or a broken image or something like that. And if you see this ghosting appear like that, just refresh the page. Um, it's just an issue with what we're doing here in the admin on our home page. So I guess I'm kind of waiting. There we go. All right, so um, now we'll want to go, while in content mode, we'll want to go ahead and edit the widget. So click Edit Widget. And you basically just put your cursor inside the edit window. Uh, you'd select insert image. And we're going to upload image. Browse. And these are the images that we've got here. Um, I'll go ahead and use this one. It's kind of a nice consulting image. <laughs> um, the other sidebar images on the, on the site, um, I have those sized to 203 pixels wide and that's kind of an important number on your particular website to remember um, by default the image is pretty big it's 849 so that means even if we resize it it's going to be kind of huge so um, what we'll do is right, right here we'll just say 203 and it'll go ahead and snap it down here in this this view um, and then we're we'll, we'll gonna go ahead and say resize original image. So it's gonna resample that to a smaller file size, which will be important. 
then it'll load a lot quicker. Um, then on this particular uh, site, we'll, we'll go ahead and say uh, alignment. And we're going to align that right because I have some styling and everything set up. And just say save close. And save and close. And there's the image. Um, but we want to go ahead and drag it above this area here so we can just kind of drag and drop that right there. So that's all there is to it. And just kind of repeat that on other pages. If, if, if you do want this on uh, multiple pages, like let's say you want this also on join our team, which right now it's not. So if we go over there, there's nothing there. Um, let's go back to the request a quote page. What we can do is hit structure. And then we'll say, conf oops, we'll say edit, because we'll want to say, or we want this section to appear. We can say all pages if we want, but we don't want to do that in this case. Uh, and then you can also select, you know, multiple other pages. And then just say save. And there you go. Join our team.